Hey, this is Ollie Brown. I got something that's going to blow you away when you check out this new premiere of There's No Stopping Us 2021 style with uh, Boogaloo Shrimp and East Style and his buddy, DJ Franco. What's going on, Ali? Uh, it's East Styles. I got my man Boogaloo Shrimp right here. What's going on, fellas? How Thanks you doing? That's what you talking about. I'm glad that you looked me up to do this interview. Um, uh, I'm really uh, excited about some of the things that you kind of let me check out. Definitely. You know, with uh, putting in some of your vibe on that fresh air. Oh, yeah. uh, there's no stopping us, which was a major hit for me and Jerry Knight, you know, because... I'm obviously the guy that wrote it and produced it with Jerry Knight yeah. back when we did um, Breaking and Electric Boogaloo. You know, actually on Electric Boogaloo, we did the whole album. Oh, there wow. was no extra artist, you know, so we had to blow wow. it up. Wow. However, we did have a single of the soundtrack on Electric Boogaloo and uh, Breaking. Wow. There's no stopping us. Oh. Yeah. Um, they about to get some new love okay. on There's no stopping us okay. 2021. Oh, yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Hey, mm -hmm. Ali, I'm glad you shared that with us because that's why we wanted to reach out to you, man. We love yeah. we love this movie. Boogaloo Shrimp, Mike Chambers, he did his thing. And we were doing research and we found out that you were the one that, and, and obviously Jerry too, but you guys yeah. are responsible for writing the song and making it happen, man. And we just wanted yeah. to reach out to you because Mike is debuting his this show, Coffee Break with Boogaloo Shrimp. And we want to make sure that you're part of this, man, because this is special. Wait a minute. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't bring me no coffee? Oh. <laughs> Hey, you know what? But yeah, I, I, you know, in, in, in all fairness, yeah. you know, the, the coffee breaking is the theme and we want everybody to know, you know what? We're doing a new sober right. hip hop COVID-19 friendly, yes. you know, we're, there you go. we don't want to be loose, but we still want to bring good music and good vibes to people all over and families. And That's the thing is, it's all about the kids, even your music. There's no stopping us. When you have these kids locked down on the COVID, yeah. they're like, you know what? Where's the hope? Well, there's no stopping what the next day is going to be. Exactly. And these messages resonate. So thank you for writing a timeless song. Yeah. Thank you, East Styles, for bringing a new chill, thank you. new consciousness to the song oh, yeah. so that this yeah. new generation can have hope. Appreciate there's it. no stopping you. There's no stopping us. Breaking through and all those positive things hopefully will resonate and help people say, hey, you know what? Today is not, I mean, tomorrow's not promised, but today we're, we're going to get through with whatever we got. That's we're going to make it happen. Yeah. So that was the key theme mm -hmm. for when we were writing it was to get that lyric to that. Mm. Okay. So when you, you see that um, uh, on the back. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the credit. Who, who is that guy right there in the middle? He you know familiar. what? It's funny that you, <laughs> it's funny that you brought that up because right. break dancing was announced in the, two, uh, 2024 Olympics. It's all yeah. over the worldwide news. That's right. And yeah. some people back in the day, they they looked over me for judging certain contests because they thought that, uh -huh. I, that I could just pop. But this shows I was doing all styles, popping, locking, ticking, and breaking. And so that's an important picture that's it. because it's documented. And and one of the things about the the, the 2024 Olympics, that's happening in Paris. But the hype around the world is now hip hop music and breaking through barriers. That's right. So all the stuff, yeah. crumping, anything associated with hip hop, you know, your beats, your soul music, yeah. your funk, even your real estate company. And your message. That's you right. Know, That's the right. message. See, uh, I always tell people, listen to the lyrics on that. It's more than you want because well, yeah. it was, uh, there's no stop. No one does it better. That's right. That's right. I'm glad you said that because I'm conscious. When it comes to lyrics, lyrical content, I want to put something positive out there. We've already heard all this crazy stuff. We're trying to rebrand what society thinks of us yes. as minorities. And yes. we want to reach out to everybody. Yes. We want everyone right. to listen to our music, you know, all over the yeah. world. And I'm glad you guys decided to uh, put your spin on uh, there some stuff. The you. deal is what happens when people are down, 
Yes. And when they made the movie, they were trying to reject uh, those guys. That's right. Oh, okay. They didn't. They didn't want um, Boogaloo, Shrimp, Michael, um, people that was. Uh, I can't think the girl name that was in. Lucinda. Lucinda Dickey. Lucinda. Yeah. They didn't want them to even be involved. There was almost an argument. If you now that we're saying it, yeah. go back and check it out. When the contest started, uh, the group has said you can't stop us. Well, y'all remember and, that, uh -huh, that scene. That's how the lyric for me broke in too to play off of that. Yes. That no one does it better. And that's how they won and kicked butt. I'm so glad that you brought that up because there's a lot of stuff people are finding out about Mike, uh, yeah. Shrimp. There's stuff they're finding out about you. See, you guys broke so many barriers, which made it possible. When I seen Mike do that and it was on film, it gave me hope because I was a little kid, you know? I was like, man, he's representing for me. And it was so smooth how he was doing it because there was all these nationalities. So now you see this movement where people are trying to bring people together. Yeah, the energy they brought the on there, and that's why you would never yeah. be able to have hip hop or that's any kind of program without bringing up that, that's that little era and the, the movie. Uh, breaking. There Unfortunately, was, it was some non business things that happens in all yeah. stories if you get deep into it. But only the strong surface to the top. That's right. All that BS falls to the bottom. That's it. When oh. someone has a love for it, mm -hmm. like Michael has, mm -hmm. and I'd rather say his trademark Boogaloo's him, he wasn't just doing it. No. He felt it. He believed it, and he's still doing it. That's it. Even where he's at today, and willing to share what it was all about and what it can even be today. That's it. That's why I like it, because dancing and music lives. I mean, look at it. There used to be horn players uh, on the show on the stage. That's what right. do you see on the stage now? Yeah. A bunch of dancers. That's yes. right. The background singers, they're not even on stage no more. Yeah, and it used to be hand in it's, hand it's, where they work together. Yeah, see? It's it's the body. That's right. It's the yeah. body of the love that comes out of music on how people express how they feel. That's yes, right. Yes. That's right. So when Boogaloo Shrimp, he need to feel it. If he feel it, he's not gonna be able to do nothing with it. True. That, that's but when he's feeling point. it, everything else is smooth. <laughs> that's right. That's right. There's people that believe in him. Yes. And the thing is, right now, where well, the world is hurting, even back then, people were hurting to get some respect. That's but right. yeah, self-esteem comes with empowerment. That's right. And the empowerment is like, you know, you you be the best. There's no stopping you. You be the best you. You look in the mirror, and you be the best you. So when you say about me dancing, I was never dancing for myself. There you go. I was right. dancing to be accepted as a human beyond my skin color. That's right. And I never said it. But if you look at the movie Breaking, mm -hmm. we have Puerto Rican, white, Anglo-Saxon, and African-American. But guess what? Even the scene on Venice Beach, there were Guamanians and Filipinos and Mexicans and Chinese. That's right. So our music was universal, and the dance is universal. And so you know what? At the end of the day, everybody's life mattered. Everybody's it was. life matters. You it know? was. That's a good and point. And you know what? It came out more... Believe it or not, and that had a lot of airplay in terms yes. of uh, breaking so more box office, but Electric Boogaloo had crazy success around the world yeah. and uh, on screen. Yes. You know, I can see the uh, how the sales work. Yes. And I would I would always get requests for that. Uh, all those scenes. Do you remember uh, the I see you. Yes, I, I see did. You. Yes, that, I did. Now look, you know yeah. what I remember about that? That this is the scene where Turbo falls, and I break my leg, and I'm in the ICU. Right. Well, look, uh -huh. I had been dancing, grueling hours. We we're dancing for hours. I mean, I was putting 110 percent in every scene. Wow. By that scene, I was exhausted, and so this is what I remember. Yeah. They go, okay, action, <laughs> action. Action and the girl comes over. She goes, Boogaloo, 
Everybody's waiting for you. I was asleep. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't realize the hospital bed is comfortable. You're right. Yeah, I know. And I was good. exhausted. And by the time they were doing the setup, I was taking my Z's and they kept saying action. Action. And the girl that kissed me, she goes, Boogaloo, they're all waiting for you. And I woke up like, and it's in the movie. Yeah. What happened? No. I went to sleep, Ollie. What? I went to sleep because I was so exhausted and finally somebody and said, somebody said, they captured that. They yeah. captured you going like, right. Hey um, man, you know what? That was so real because wow. look, through the whole movie, I'm popping and ticking and popping and ticking and popping. Yeah. And all of a sudden my body, they said, okay, look, you just sit down. Okay. Okay. So then I said, I guess I'm going to go to sleep. It's time to break through. Let's go.